Right there, this is our what I was discussing with you earlier, the 9047 connector. Again, you notice same thing. It's just an adapter piece. All these are going to have the H4 built in, and it's just going to have an adapter if it's the H13 or the 9047. And you notice you have uh, your three pins there. It's kind of a half moon. Now this one's a little tricky because this is a 9004 slash 9007. Well, on a 9007, my wiring is red, black, red. Okay. On a 9004, though, my wiring is red, red, black. So what you actually have to do is there's some little holes there inside that the, where those pins are. And you basically take your little tweaker and push them down in there, and those pins will slide right out. You put them in the right way, and you plug that back in. Typically what happens if you have a 9004 and you hook this up like it comes from us, you're going to either get high beam only usually, um, or nothing at all. It just it usually depends, but most of the time you just get your high beam working. Um, and, and sometimes it will even work for your low beam. It kind of depends on your car wiring. But, um, you know, typically once that happens and you're having an issue, you want to swap those wires around. Again, instead of red, black, red, it's red, red, black. So you just got to move these two end wires. And the way you can tell is where this clip is. And then where that clip is, you know you want to take these two, oops, sorry, these two here, on the left hand side and swap them around. I was looking at it upside down, that's why I almost made the mistake. So be careful and make sure you're looking at that um, that clip here at the top that locks it in. And those two on that left hand side here are the ones that you want to you wanna actually swap around. Um, again, same setup for this one. I don't have a 9004 bolt, but I'll just kind of show you here. Um, you know, let's say our H13 was there, but we're using this connector. Same thing, always pop that one in, and it's always that connector every time. And I would have my 9047 bolts plug plugged into my bolt connectors um, and my high low switch just like before. So, all that's the same. The big difference on all these bulbs, everything is identical, but your stock connector is always going to be different. That's what they call that. Now, all that is again is when you take out your halogen bulb, you'll have a connector plugged directly into that halogen bulb. That's what this one is, and that's the variable in all the bulb sizes and stuff like that. All this stuff on everything, um, all this side of the grommet, all the same. It's only going to be this connector on every application that's going to be a little bit different. So that's pretty much um, you know, your basics on how to plug in most of your bulb sizes here and stuff. Um, the only ones we didn't go over were H8 and H9, and the reason being is because those are the same as your H11. I forgot to mention that to you. They're the exact same um, connector. The bulb size is the same. Um, yours may say H9 on it, H8, H11. It's all the same thing. There's absolutely no difference whatsoever in those bulbs. Even a halogen will, be, um, will pop right in and out of a different one. It's, it's all universal. Um, so that part is pretty much good here. I want to show you one more thing here on the D2 bulbs. These are the factory HID bulbs. On these D2 bulbs, you're going to have most likely, if you're just getting the bulbs from us, you're already going to have a connection similar to this in your headlight assembly. Usually it's just all black though or something. Basically what you're doing is you're just taking and pushing that and twisting it and that locks in and your bulb goes in like it always did into your harness there. Now. If you have an aftermarket ballast like this, this is what this wire is for. It's got your bullet connectors on it so that you can pop them right in. Okay. And then I would run this into my headlight assembly where my stock one was. Pop that in. Now the big difference here, most D2 applications are going to use a standard 9005-6 H10 connector. If they don't, it'll come with this splicing wire. Looks just like an H1, H3, H7 splice. Same thing as before, you plug it in here. You just don't have a grommet in this case because you won't need it. Um, and then basically you're popping these two into your factory connector, um, positive and negative. Some D2 applications will actually have a third wire too. Don't worry about that one. You just want to hook up the, the positive and negative. That's all that's going to matter. Same thing as every other size. You may have to take these out and swap them around. So that's the first thing you want to check if that bulb doesn't light up right away. Is take those out, swap them around, and put them in exactly opposite of how you had it. Again, won't blow any fuses, none of that stuff, so don't, don't worry about that. That's no problem at all. Um, it just won't kick on. So I have one more bulb here. This is a D1S bulb. This looks just like your factory bulb. Uh, D1S wire. Um, basically what you're going to have here, 
uh, is this will look just like the one that's in your car now and you see you have this little connector here it's kind of similar to a D2S wire um, it just uses a different connection what we got here is this is a D1S wire here now this side would plug into an aftermarket D1S ballast but this is what you should have in your car you know stock so if you were just replacing the bulbs you would just kind of take your old bulb out put your new one in and this will be your factory connector and you just pop it in there boom you're done now, if you're changing the ballast or if you're doing both, um, in that case you would get this wire and basically this end plugs into the ballast, which I'll show you here in a minute. I think I got one laying down right over far left there on the shelf, on that bottom shelf. Sorry about that, got a D1S ballast here. Okay. So on that D1S ballast, you see we got different connections. Now, if you notice, this connection is the same as a 9005.6. Um, so don't get nervous there because it's inside, not on the pink wire. This one pops in there. It's a little tricky. Okay. That side's going to pop into my bulb. Again, even if it's your factory bulb and you're just replacing the ballast, it's going to be the same setup. You're going to need that wire run it to your factory bulb and that uh, side will fit right into your factory bulb. Um, now in this case, typically what you would do is you notice it's got this extender wire. You don't necessarily need that. Um, a lot of times you can plug your factory harness right into here. If not, you would pop this extension wire in. Again, use that. Oops, you get a good shot of that. Use that to plug the car harness right into that. Again, with any application, your, your polarity could be reversed here. In this case, you would have to come from the top like those 9,047s we showed you and take a tweaker and just push down on that pin from the little hole there um, and then pop these wires out and reverse them. Um, that's really the very first step you always want to do. It doesn't matter what your bulb size is, what ballast you're using, um, none of that. The, the first two key steps when you're troubleshooting it not coming on, flip that. If that doesn't work, check your fuse for your headlights. Every car has a headlight fuse. Um, one for the left, one for the right, and they have four separate ones for low and high, left and right. So you always want to check those um, after you check this. If that doesn't work, you check your, your fuses and, and that will kind of at least get you usually in the right direction um, and get you figuring out what's going on there, why it's not working. Um, so that's pretty much it for our D1s. Um, our D4 bulbs and D3 bulbs are the same, uh, D4 is the same as a D2, so this will all be the same setup here as we showed you for this one, and a D3 is the same as a D1, so again, same setup here as well for that one. Um, again, for the most part, all your connections are going to be the same every time. You're always going to have this as your input um, um, from your factory harness, and you're usually always going to need the adapter in that case. The only one you don't need the adapters on necessarily is a 9005. 9006 and H10. All bulbs have the bullet connector, so you'll always use those. And the bi Xenon just throws in that extra high low switch for you. Other than that, that's pretty much how you set it up. The only variables you're going to come into is, is your bulb sizes when you're taking your bulbs out, putting the new ones in. For that, for those circumstances, you usually want to check your factory manual that came with the car. Um, make sure how you pull that out. Some cars use different brackets. Usually, if it's an H11, it's always going to be in the same way. Those just twist in. Um, but again, you just want to check your factory manual for that just to make sure however you took the old one out, the HID is going to pop in there the exact same way. So you shouldn't have any issues there. All right, so this is our basic video on how to uh, you know just hook up all our wiring and kind of give you a good rundown on, on what the different connections are and all that stuff. Um, check out us at HIDAutoVision.com. We're going to have more videos up there. You can check out our tech support page. We show you the reversing the polarity. We give you some wiring diagrams, things like that. Um, so really, um, you know, that covers everything for today.